first of all, a uh, radio show and YouTube channel has the honor to interview uh, Solstice. Um, so, thanks for, for being here. Thank you and, for asking us. Uh, and welcome. Uh, so, White uh, Horse Hill album was released in 2018, and more recently, an EP, an EP called uh, White uh, Tenet with some White Horse Hill songs re recorded with the vocals of. Uh, it's white, white Thane, White Thane, which is a combination of White Horse Hill and Two Soul Thane, mm -hmm. which are the two songs that I re-recorded. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So, and also uh, the best of yours. Well, uh, that, that, that particular incident, uh, it was mostly uh, Hill's vocals yeah. in that regard. Okay. In a way, it's kind of to promote me as a new singer, um, and I those are actually my audition tapes. Uh -huh. which I did with a friend who has a recording studio back uh, where I moved from uh, in Vermont. So uh, I recorded those back home and of course now England is my home but um, uh, yeah so those were re sort of um, what's the word not edited uh, repurposed re yeah repurposed in a way uh, by Andy Whitaker's brother. I forget the name of his studio, but he's down in London. He does incredible work. He's done some of the remasters for Black Sabbath recently. So uh, he polished those up and um, then great to put them out on tape. I think they're also going to come out on vinyl oh. at some point as mm, an EP of some sort. So. Okay. Um, but uh, can we expect to now coming out? Well, I hope there won't be another 20 years before there's a new album. Definitely won't be another 20 years. <laughs> we, are, we, are working on new, we are working on new material uh, because we want to give the best sound we can. Uh, we are taking our time, we are trying out new riffs, new tracks, new song structures, new compositions, and we are working diligently to bring out new music. Yeah, I don't think it's uh, anybody who's in Solstice, neither I nor Rich, Especially it wants to sort of just rush to put out something that's just crap or that's just beige run-of-the-mill shit. So um, we're going to take our time, but I don't think it's going to be 20 years. <laughs> uh, but I think we'll, I could say we will definitely have at least one or two new songs to debut at a live show, hopefully by the summer or fall. So we are writing right now and we're working on things, so stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> and how does the composition process work out for a band like Yeah. Slowly and meticulously <laughs> yeah. as it should be. We create riffs, we try riffs out, we demo riffs, we record riffs, we re-record them, we play with them, we work out how well they can flow into others and slowly and surely we uh, dig a song out of all of that and it's going to take time as it should take time because we have some <laughs> <laughs> We want to make a good deal of it. And, scared uh, me. Scared me as well. But oh, really so it's just now. just a case of rich <laughs> writes the riffs send them to us, we listen to them, we play them in the studio, well, we work on it, and that's we see how they flow. Well, for the most part, true, but I will correct you, okay. because actually I've been helping Rich write some of the guitar riffs. I'm not a guitar player, per se, I'm definitely not a lead guitarist, but I know about music and I've, I've written songs in the past, so but that's not to say that I'm the only one who's allowed to contribute. So um, Andy also as well, the other guitar player, uh, will sit down with Rich and they'll decide what they like and Andy will contribute. Um, I think that the process of writing has changed a lot over the years. I think Rich used to be kind of the sole contributor mostly at writing the lyrics as well mostly. Um, and then I think over the, and the recent years, he's handed over some of that responsibility to the singer to write more of the lyrics. And that has worked out sometimes good and other times maybe not so well. 
Um, Suboptimally. It's up to you to decide. <laughs> so um, I will be writing lyrics, but also collaborating with Rich as sort of a concept. You know, we'll decide we're going to write down the track names and decide where they go on the album. And I'm sure something is about to happen. It's going to be ridiculous. So it's definitely about to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Hello, it is I. De la Baton Rouge. <laughs> That's so, so. Rich's alter ego is a gay French man from Louisiana named Fifi de la Baton Rouge. This is far too much information. Right? He likes to wear red bandanas, cheeky bandanas around his neck. Okay, okay. That's a symbol of his But anyway, anyway, anyway. anyway. The, the point being, as somebody who joined only joined the band two years ago, I am thrilled and excited about this new creative process and the way we can work together, bring everybody into the songwriting experience. And but Rich is still the boss. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, cool. I just did. Format is adopted by more. Uh, I think it allows us to focus more on two or three songs at a time, throwing some instrumentals as well. As you know, Souls is very long, we're having songs. So it's not just like a quick. You're not really from Jane Castle, but you might be. So, it must be a common question for you, but I'm sure many of you. Yes. 
stagnant. And so it's always moving forward, you know. So, yeah, for sure. You know, make it interesting. Yeah. Uh, my question would be now for you. So Bob is for you be the front woman of such a legendary man as Legendary. Uh, <laughs> well, um, it's it was a bit strange at first because I was just like you and everyone else just a fan, Daryl. Um,